think dinosaurs were the ultimate predators? Think again. The Earth was once home to monsters that were far more powerful. With razor-sharp teeth, crushing jaws, and unimaginable hunting strategies. Join us as we show you animals that were scarier than dinosaurs. Number 20. Sarcosuchus. Imagine a crocodile the size of a school bus, with a bite force capable of crushing a car, and you'll have a pretty good idea of what Sarcosuchus, also known as Super Croc, was like. While not a true crocodile, but rather a distant relative, Sarcosuchus dwarfed even the largest of modern crocodilians, measuring nearly 40 feet in length, twice the size of today's saltwater crocodiles. Weighing in at a staggering eight metric tons, Sarcosuchus was an apex predator that could take on virtually any challenger in its domain. This was particularly useful considering that it lived alongside the dinosaurs, which often became its prey. Sarcosuchus ruled the wetter ways of the early Cretaceous period, some 112 million years ago. Its massive jaws linted with over 100 teeth. But it wasn't just the size of its teeth that made. Sarcosuchus so formidable. It was the sheer power of its bite. Scientists estimate that this ancient Leviathan could exert a bite force of up to 18,000 pounds per square inch, more than four times that of the mighty Tyrannosaurus Rex. With such incredible jaw strength, Sarcosuchus could easily crush the bones of its prey including even the most massive of dinosaurs. However, despite its fearsome reputation, Sarcosuchus likely faced fierce competition from other carnivorous giants of its time, such as the Spinosaurus and Carcharodontosaurus. Number 19. Leopleurodon. With necks longer than giraffes and teeth that could shred a shark, the Jurassic Seas were a terrifying place. Among the most feared predators of this ancient underwater world were the plesiosaurs, a group of marine reptiles that met their demise around the same time as the dinosaurs, leading to the common misconception that they were the same. Of all the plesiosaurs, none struck greater terror into the hearts of other creatures than Lyopleurodon. This carnivorous leviathan could weigh over 500 pounds and reach lengths exceeding 30 feet, with nearly a quarter of its body dedicated to its massive skull, complete with cavernous jaws lined with rows of razor-sharp teeth. As a member of the Pliosauridae family, a clan of short-necked plesiosaurs that reigned as the apex predators of the Jurassic Oceans, Leopleurodon was supremely adapted for hunting large marine reptiles, fish, and even other plesiosaurs. One of its most striking features was its elongated snout, housing an arsenal of conical, interlocking teeth that were continually replaced throughout the animal's life, ensuring a perpetually fresh set of lethal blades for tearing into prey. But Lyopleurodon was more than just a fearsome hunter. It was a master of its environment. With a streamlined body and powerful flippers, it could glide effortlessly through the water, while its keen sense of smell allowed it to detect potential prey from great distances. Despite its eventual extinction, possibly due to changes in sea level or prey availability, Leopleurodon's legacy as one of the most formidable predators in the history of our planet endures, captivating the imaginations of scientists and enthusiasts alike. Number 18. Platybelodon. Imagine an elephant whose trunk has been replaced by a colossal, fleshy spork, its surface ridged and weathered like old leather. While its appearance might seem like a wild figment of imagination, fossil evidence proves this unique animal, Platybelodon, was very much real. This extinct creature roamed the Earth during the Miocene Epoch, a span of 8 to 20 million years ago. Platybelodon, an ancient relative of modern-day elephants, possessed a peculiar, protruding jaw that was actually a second pair of widened tusks, 
which are modified incasaurs. When first discovered in the 1920s, scientists believed that these lower incisors were used for shoveling, scooping, digging, and dredging soft vegetation in aquatic or swampy environments. However, in 1992, paleontologist David Lambert proposed a different theory. He suggested that these specialized tusks could have served as scythe-like weapons capable of slicing through dense vegetation with ease. Rather than being confined to shorelines, Platybelodon likely wandered the landscapes of Miocene Asia, Africa, and North America, using its trunk to grasp branches and its built-in scythes to cut them down, foraging on terrestrial plants in a manner quite different from its modern-day descendants. Number 17. Terror Birds in the realm of ancient South America, a group of feathered nightmares reigned supreme for 60 million years after the extinction of the dinosaurs. These were the terror birds, or Forus racidae, towering predators that could reach heights of up to 10 feet. Armed with powerful T-Rex-like feet and a wickedly hooked beak, these creatures were capable of delivering a single devastating blow that could sever the spinal cord of a horse. The terror bird's dominion began when South America was an isolated island, long before the formation of modern-day Central America. While saber-toothed cats and wolves claim the role of apex predators in other parts of the world, the South American landscape was dominated by herbivorous mammals. This provided the terror birds with an abundant source of prey, allowing them to thrive without significant competition. Swift and agile, these feathered hunters possessed a formidable weapon in the form of a pickaxe-like beak, which they wielded with deadly precision to crack open the skulls of smaller animals. Their bony heads served as organic meat tenderizers, while their massive, clawed feet delivered bone-crushing kicks to any unfortunate creature that crossed their path. Over the course of their 60-million-year reign, Seventeen different terror bird species rose and fell, each more terrifying than the last, until they finally vanished around 2.5 million years ago. Number 16. Arctotherium angustidens. Grizzly bears, with their power and ferocity, easily strike fear into the hearts of seasoned wilderness explorers. Yet, there was once a creature so immense, so powerful, that it could make a grizzly look like a playful cub, meet Arctotherium angustidens, or the giant short-faced bear. This absolute beast roamed the South American wilderness some two and a half million years ago and weighed a mind-blowing two tons. That made it the largest bear ever to walk the earth. But its size wasn't the only thing that set it apart. To truly grasp the sheer magnitude of this prehistoric giant, consider this. The reigning kings of today's land predators polar bears are absolutely gigantic. But even the 10-foot-tall polar bears pale in comparison to the Arctotherium angustidens. This monster could reach a staggering 14 feet in height on its hind legs, nearly the length of a full-size moving van. But even with such enormous size, it was not slow. The Arctotus simus, a smaller relative of the giant short-faced bear, was known to reach terrifying speeds of up to 40 miles per hour. It's likely that the Arctotherium angustidens, with its powerful build and massive strides, was capable of similar feats of speed. This makes escape all but impossible for its unfortunate prey, including perhaps early humans, who may have been little more than a meaty snack for this predator. Number 15. Arthropleura. Picture the biggest millipede you've ever seen. Now multiply its size until it's taller than a basketball hoop. That's the scale of Arthropleura, a prehistoric giant that could grow up to over eight feet long. This creature challenges everything we think we know about the humble millipede and holds the distinction of being the largest invertebrate ever to have lived. Despite its intimidating size, Arthropleura was a gentle giant, content to munch on the abundant vegetation of its era. Its small, weak mouth parts were adapted for grinding soft plant matter rather than tearing flesh. So, what was the secret behind Arthropleura's incredible size? The answer lies in the unique atmosphere of the Carboniferous period. 
when oxygen levels were significantly higher than they are today, allowing invertebrates like Arthropleura to grow to proportions that would be impossible in our modern atmosphere. But while Arthropleura may have been a peaceful herbivore, it was far from defenseless. Its exoskeleton was covered in thick armored plates, providing protection against the giant dragonflies and other predators of its time. And even without sharp claws or teeth, Arthropleura's sheer size alone would have been enough to deter all but the most persistent of attackers. Number 14. Titanoboa. Forget the fictional giant serpents of movies and myths. The real-life Titanoboa was a monstrous predator that would make creatures like the basilisk or Jermangander seem like harmless earthworms. Measuring over 40 feet in length and weighing up to a staggering 2,500 pounds, equivalent to the weight of a fully grown giraffe, this prehistoric serpent was a true behemoth. Emerging in the wake of the dinosaur's extinction, Titanoboa seized the opportunity to fill the ecological void left by the vanished apex predators. Its existence challenged our understanding of biological limits, pushing the boundaries of what was believed possible for a terrestrial serpent. While massive aquatic creatures like the blue whale, which can reach lengths close to 100 feet, exist thanks to the buoyancy of the water counteracting the effects of gravity, Titanoboa likely followed a similar principle by inhabiting swampy, semi-aquatic environments. As an ambush predator, Titanoboa relied on its incredible strength to constrict the life out of its prey, lying in wait to devour large reptiles giant turtles, and even crocodiles unfortunate enough to cross its path. Number 13. Megalodon Meet Megalodon, a prehistoric shark that makes even the most fearsome great white look like a goldfish in comparison. Measuring an astonishing 50 feet in length and weighing in at a staggering 70 tons, the Megalodon was a true leviathan of the deep, a creature so massive and so powerful that it defies the imagination. To put the megalodon's size into perspective, consider this. The average great white shark, itself a formidable predator, measures a mere 15 feet in length, less than a third of the size of its ancient cousin. And when it comes to weight, there is simply no comparison. At 70 tons, the megalodon was as heavy as 10 fully grown elephants a mind-boggling mass that speaks to the sheer scale of this prehistoric monster. But size was not the only thing that set the megalodon apart. This giant shark also boasted a set of jaws that were the stuff of nightmares, spanning an incredible six feet in width, more than enough to swallow a human whole. And within those jaws lay a fearsome array of teeth, each one measuring up to seven inches in length and razor sharp perfectly adapted for tearing through the flesh of even the most formidable prey. With a bite force estimated at an astonishing 40,000 pounds per square inch, 10 times greater than that of a great white shark, the Megalodon was a creature that commanded both awe and terror in equal measure. Number 12. Smilodon Enter the realm of Smilodon, the iconic saber-toothed predator that stalked the Americas during the Pleistocene epoch, leaving an indelible mark on the landscapes. Often mistakenly referred to as the saber-toothed tiger, Smilodon was a feline powerhouse, a member of an extinct subfamily Machirodontinae that defied the conventions of modern cats. Its very name, derived from the Greek words for double-edged knife and tooth, encapsulates the essence of this formidable genus. Smilodon boasted three recognized species, each a robust predator, with exceptionally long upper canine teeth, standing as a true giant among the fields of North America. While they shared the trait of elongated canines with tigers, Smilodon belonged to a different evolutionary lineage, making it distinct from true tigers. As an apex predator, Smilodon hunted large herbivores like bison and camels with unparalleled efficiency. The La Brea Tar Pits in Los Angeles, California, house the largest collection of Smilodon fossils, offering a glimpse into the life and demise of these magnificent creatures. As Smilodon ventured into South America, it adapted to new prey species, 
including toxodonts and litopterns, thriving in both open and forested habitats. The Pleistocene epoch marked the decline of this remarkable predator, coinciding with the disappearance of the megafauna it relied upon, a poignant reminder of the ever-changing tapestry of life on Earth. Number 11. Endocaras. Imagine a creature as long as a car silently drifting through a prehistoric ocean. Its shell, shaped like a monstrous ice cream cone, isn't just its home. It contains a unique internal structure, a tube called a siphuncle. This tube allowed endocaras, a type of ancient nautiloid, to control its buoyancy, floating effortlessly or sinking to the seabed. This giant was one of the world's first ambush predators, lying in wait to seize unsuspecting prey with its tentacles. Its long, streamlined shell allowed for bursts of movement, but Endocaras was a master of conserving energy, a trait essential for survival in the competitive seas of the Ordovician period. Scientists have unearthed Endocaras fossils across the globe, North America, Europe, and even Australia. These fossils can be up to 10 feet long, with estimates suggesting some individuals reached a staggering 19 feet in length. This makes Endoceras the largest straight-shelled cephalopod ever discovered. Number 10. Dunkla osteus. In the late Devonian period, a formidable predator reigned supreme in the ancient oceans, Dunkla osteus, a genus of arthrodire placoderm fish that struck fear into the hearts of its contemporaries. With its streamlined, shark-like body encased in an armor-plated head and reaching lengths of 26 to 32 feet, Dunkleosteus was a force to be reckoned with. What sets Dunkleosteus apart is its extraordinary jaw structure and biting power. This Devonian titan could snap its jaw shut in a mere 50 to 60 milliseconds, exerting a bite force unrivaled by any living or extinct fish a staggering 5,300 pounds of sheer power. Armed with two long bony blades that continuously grew and self-sharpened, Dunkleosteus could puncture and slice through the armor of its prey with ease. Despite initial assumptions of slow swimming speeds, recent studies suggest that Dunkleosteus was capable of impressive bursts of speed, allowing it to catch swift prey like Cladocelache. The fossil record also reveals intriguing behaviors, such as the regurgitation of undigested fish bones, hinting at a complex dietary strategy and a surprising level of ecological intelligence. Dunkleosteus was far from a picky eater, consuming fish, sharks, and even members of its own species with an insatiable appetite. Number 9. Liviaton. From the fossil depths of the Miocene epoch, emerges Liviaton, an extinct genus of macroraptorial sperm whale. This ancient predator, boasting formidable size and a powerful bite, dominated its marine environment. The species name, L. Melville, nods to both the biblical sea monster Leviathan and Herman Melville, author of the iconic whaling novel, Moby Dick. Thriving nearly 10 million years ago, Leviathan left a tantalizing trail of fossils across the globe, from the shores of Chile and Argentina to the coasts of California, South America, and Australia. As an apex predator in its marine realm, Leviathan likely preyed upon whales, seals, and other formidable opponents, asserting its dominance in the prehistoric oceans. What sets Leviathan apart from its modern sperm whale counterparts is its astonishing dentition. With teeth measuring a staggering 1.1 feet, Liviaton boasts the largest biting teeth of any known animal, excluding tusks. These formidable teeth, coupled with an estimated total length of 44 to 57 feet, paint a picture of an unstoppable predator. The skull of Liviaton features a distinctive basin along the snout's length, housing the enigmatic spermacete organ, which may have played a role in echolocation communication, or even aggressive behavior. With functional teeth in both jaws adapted for shearing and interlocking, Liviaton possessed a unique and fearsome hunting arsenal, forever etched in the annals of paleontological history. Number 8. Helicoprion. Helicoprion, a 270-million-year-old fish, 
has baffled paleontologists for over a century. Stretching 20 to 25 feet in length, this ancient enigma is best known for its bizarre tooth arrangement, which has been the subject of countless debates and speculations. The mystery began with the discovery of peculiar fossils, petrified whorls of elongated teeth resembling rolled-up fruit snacks. In 1899, Russian geologist Alexander Petrovich Karpinsky christened the creature Helicoprion, believing the tooth whorl to be attached to its nose like a permanently curled party favor. Over the years, paleontologists proposed a myriad of bizarre reconstructions, placing the tooth whorl on various parts of the fish's anatomy, from its snout to its dorsal fin, and even deep within its throat. It wasn't until 2013 that a groundbreaking study led by Leif Tapanila from Idaho State University unraveled the true nature of Helicoprion's dentition. The coiled tooth row, it turned out, completely filled the lower jaw in a mesmerizing buzzsaw-like formation. As the fish aged, new teeth continuously formed at the back of the lower jaw, while the upper jaw remained practically toothless. The jaw-closing mechanism of Helicoprion was equally terrifying, with the tooth whirl rotating backward in a saw-like motion to slice through its prey. Timogen the sheer power of this creature. Scientists have discovered helicoprian jaws spanning a staggering two feet in width. Number seven, Andrews Arcus. Lost to the sands of time, Andrews Arcus remains an enigma. Its legend is built upon a single monstrous skull unearthed in the Mongolian desert in 1923. A fragment hinting at a creature of awe-inspiring size. Measuring nearly three feet in length, the skull suggests a beast of truly monstrous proportions, a dominant predator of its prehistoric world. Expedition leader Roy Chapman Andrews concluded that Andrews Arcus must have been a carnivore based on its formidable dentition and named the creature after himself. To this day, the Mongolian skull remains the sole relic of this terrifying species, which stalked the lands of East Asia some 45 to 66 million years ago during the Eocene epoch. By studying the skull and comparing it to the remains of a bear-like prehistoric creature called a Mesonychid, paleontologists have pieced together a hypothetical reconstruction of Andrews Arcus. The result is a nightmarish vision of a heavily built, wolf-like animal, standing six feet tall and stretching 16 feet in length. With a long body and tail supported by four stout, hoofed legs and a menacing snout filled with massive, bone-crushing teeth, Andrew Zarkis was a formidable predator that could have weighed almost 2,200 pounds. Number 6. Mosasaurus. Picture a world where the oceans were ruled by a creature so fearsome that it would make even the most seasoned sailor tremble with fear. Meet Mosasaurus a colossal marine reptile that prowled the waters of the Cretaceous period, dwarfing all other predators in its domain. While often mistaken for a dinosaur, the Mosasaurus was a true leviathan of the deep, measuring up to an astonishing 60 feet in length. Imagine a crocodile of monstrous proportions, armed with powerful fins that granted it unparalleled mobility in the water. The Mosasaurus was an active predator, its hunting habits shrouded in mystery, but paleontologists agree that it preyed upon a wide array of marine life, from fish and turtles to even other fearsome marine reptiles like plesiosaurs and ichthyosaurs. The first tantalizing glimpse of this ancient behemoth came in 1764 when fragments of its skull were unearthed in a subterranean chalk quarry in the Netherlands. Since then, a wealth of fossils has emerged, painting a vivid picture of a creature perfectly adapted to its aquatic environment. With its streamlined body, powerful jaws lined with conical teeth, and a unique double-hinged jaw that could open impossibly wide, the Mosasaurus was an apex predator in every sense of the word. Now it's time for today's subscriber pick. When we think of dinosaurs, the ferocious T-Rex dominates our imagination, fueled by its Hollywood image. 
but this icon pales in comparison to the Monstros Spinosaurus. This colossal predator was the longest of all carnivorous dinosaurs, stretching up to 50 feet, imagining a sail like a jagged billboard rising from its spine and a crocodile-like snout built for snatching prey from rivers. Its size alone was terrifying, but scientists believe its powerful arms weren't just for show. They were tipped with claws designed to shred flesh. This wasn't a lumbering brute. The Spinosaurus possessed surprising agility for its size, especially near water. So, who do you think would win in a prehistoric showdown, Spinosaurus or T-Rex? Let us know in the comments. Number 5. Gorgonops Long before the dinosaurs ever set foot on Earth, a formidable predator stalked the land. Gorgonops, a creature that reigned supreme 260 million years ago. Measuring between 6 and 10 feet in length, this swift and vicious hunter quickly rose to the top of the food chain, thanks in no small part to its massive, protruding teeth that seemed to defy the very limits of its jaw. The skull of the Gorgonops was a marvel to behold, deep and triangular when viewed from above, hinting at the raw power and ferocity that lay within. This ancient predator belonged to a group known as Therapsids, mammal-like reptiles that dominated the landscape in the age before dinosaurs. With a unique blend of reptilian and mammalian features, such as specialized jaw joints and differentiated teeth, Gorgonops was a creature unlike any other. But it was the enlarged canine teeth that truly set Gorgonops apart. These lethal weapons, which nearly reached the lower jaw when the mouth was closed, were not merely for display. They were the tools of a hunter, perfectly adapted for seizing and dispatching prey. And while Gorgonops may not have been the largest predator of its time, that title belonged to the even more imposing Inostranchevia. It more than made up for its smaller size with its incredible speed and agility, making it a terror to behold in the Permian landscape. Number 4. Megalania in the sun-baked plains of Australia, some 2.5 million years ago, a creature of almost unimaginable size and ferocity stalked the land. Known as Megalania, this gargantuan monitor lizard was like nothing the world had ever seen before or has seen since. Measuring up to a staggering 23 feet in length, Megalania dwarfed its closest living relative, the Komodo dragon, by a factor of two making it the undisputed king of the prehistoric Australian outback. But size was not the only weapon in Megalania's arsenal. Like its modern-day cousin, this ancient behemoth is believed to have possessed venomous glands within its jaws, which secreted a potent hemotoxin. When Megalania attacked, its curved, razor-sharp teeth would pierce the skin of its prey, injecting this toxic cocktail directly into the victim's bloodstream. Once inside, the venom would act as an anticoagulant, preventing the blood from clotting and causing a rapid drop in blood pressure. The end result was systemic shock and, ultimately, death. A swift and terrifying demise for any creature unlucky enough to find itself in Megalania's sights. Recent research suggests that Megalania may have survived until as recently as 50,000 years ago, around the same time that humans first set foot on the Australian continent. Some scientists believe that these early settlers may have played a role in the giant lizard's eventual extinction, either by hunting the creatures directly or by depleting the populations of their prey. Number 3. Joseph Artegasia Monesi The sight of a rat scurrying along the sidewalks is enough to make even the most hardened city dweller recoil in disgust. But as formidable as these urban pests may seem, they pale in comparison to their ancient cousin, the Joseph o Artigasia Monesi. This gargantuan rodent, which roamed the earth between four and two million years ago, was a true behemoth, measuring up to 10 feet in length and weighing as much as 2,200 pounds, the equivalent of a dozen adult humans. But size wasn't the only thing that set the Josepho Artigasia Monesi apart from its modern-day relatives. This ancient rodent also boasted a set of incisors that were the stuff of nightmares, reaching nearly a foot in length. Recent studies using advanced computer modeling techniques 
have revealed that these massive teeth were capable of delivering a bite force of 3,600 pounds per square inch, a crushing power on par with that of a saltwater crocodile. Thankfully, the Joseph Oartigasia mansi was not a carnivorous killer. Instead, scientists believe that these colossal rodents used their impressive incisors to crack open nuts, gnaw on wood, dig for food, and defend themselves against predators. With such formidable dental armaments at their disposal, it's safe to say that any creature foolish enough to tangle with a Josefo Artigasia monesi would have quickly found itself on the receiving end of a devastating bite, a sobering reminder of the raw power and majesty of these ancient giants. Number 2. Gecolopteris. Meat. Gecolopteris the colossal predator that reigned supreme in the freshwater realms of early Devonian America. This ancient aquatic juggernaut, misleadingly dubbed a sea scorpion, was far from a mere marine creature. It thrived in the unforgiving waters of prehistoric times, armed with compound eyes that screamed power and precision, the hallmarks of a top-tier apex predator. Jacolopterus dominated its ecosystem, its very presence sending ripples of fear through the primeval waters. What sets Jacolopterus apart from its relatives is not just its triangular telson and enlarged pincers, but a lethal combination of features that cement its status as the undisputed heavyweight champion of the arthropod world. This behemoth could stretch up to a mind-boggling 8.5 feet in length, earning it the title of the largest arthropod ever recorded. Its sheer size and formidable arsenal made it an unstoppable force, a true titan among the Devonian fauna. Number 1. Meganura Step into a world where insects defy the norms of size and terror reigns from above. Meet Meganura, a monstrous genus of dragonfly-like creatures that ruled the skies approximately 300 million years ago. Forget everything you thought you knew about modern dragonflies and damselflies. Meganura was in a league of its own, with wingspans stretching well over two feet, making it the apex predator of its time. Belonging to the Meganuridae family, these giants dominated the late Carboniferous to Middle Permian periods. Their eyes, likely enlarged relative to body size, glared down upon the unsuspecting, while spines on their legs served as deadly ensnaring traps for their prey. The sheer mass of Meganura is staggering, with estimates suggesting the largest specimens weighed between 100 to 150 grams. Yet, despite their size, these aerial predators faced a vulnerability. Overheating. The metabolic demands of powering their massive bodies and wings likely generated significant heat. Dissipating this heat effectively was a challenge, potentially impacting their hunting and survival. The evolutionary puzzle of how these carboniferous insects achieved such colossal proportions has been linked to the Earth's oxygen-rich atmosphere, a hypothesis that gains traction as we unravel the secrets of the past. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.